here for you through every stage of life. Together we grow. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Where do you go for treatment of minor cuts and burns, fever, cough, rashes, eye, ear, and general infections, and much more, but you don't have an appointment? Visit Wayne HealthCare's Walk-In Care, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Wayne HealthCare's Walk-In Care Center is located at 828 Central Avenue in Greenville. Again, they are open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Remember, no appointment is necessary. Hi, I'm Ryan Berry. Welcome to DarkCountyMedia.com Extra. And this is kind of a surprise one. Ty House came in and we were going to talk to him uh, just for a newspaper article about him being named the Greenville Homecoming Parade Marshal. And so we decided to change it up and do a video program of this for DarkCountyMediaExtra.com. And uh, Ty, many of you have seen him on uh, TV GPAT, uh, YouTube, wherever they're putting the high school football games, the basketball games. He's been doing that for a long time, but he has been a big supporter of Greenville Greenville, and Greenville schools. So, Ty, welcome to the program. Thank you, It's Ryan. good to have you, and like we just said, you've been named the uh, parade marshal for the Greenville Homecoming Parade, which is coming up this week. This is homecoming week for Greenville. Tell me about, uh, I guess, what are your feelings of being named Parade Marshal? Oh, well, just, I'm just, I uh, couldn't be any more uh, humbled and any more honored. And it's certainly a, uh, with all the folks who have done this in the past, and I, when I was asked to be this and nominated in, in the student council, I appreciate them nominating or selecting me, and I couldn't be more honored or, or uh, humbled by this. And it's uh, uh, all the people who have done this in the past to be included in that kind of uh, uh, company is, is fantastic right and you've been part of the Greenville sports scene since your early days but more recently you've been doing the like we just said the football games basketball games and with your partner in crime Alex Warner right how long have you been doing this well, part of the Time Warner uh, Cable Network, we call it the mm -hmm. Ty Warner Cable Network. <laughs> uh, but uh, Alex and I have done basketball. This will be our 24th year for doing wave basketball, both men and women's. Mm -hmm. And uh, it'll be our, this is our 12th year for uh, wave football. And we've uh, really enjoyed every, every minute of it. It's a labor of love. And, uh, of course, you cut us. We bleed green and white all the way. Absolutely. And you've seen a lot of athletes, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of students come through uh, I guess w when you see these athletes come through and then you see them graduate um, and go on to do other things uh, what kind of pride do you get out of that? Uh, I mean that, that you know from a Greenville grad and we, we we raised our family here we earlier moved around to uh, come, our jobs took us elsewhere and we had a chance to come back to uh, home if you will here mm -hmm. in Greenville and we've been active with uh, uh, Greenville Athletics and certainly school system uh, as well. It really gives me uh, a great honor and, and a privilege. And you step back and see some of these kids are going through. When I say kids, they got kids <laughs> now, uh, so I'm kind of dating right, myself right. on here. But everyone's been successful, and I think the Greenville school system has done an admirable job throughout the years. And to see these kids and uh, the quality uh, of kids, the student athletes who come through and their parents and to raise them up and uh, come back in many cases successful elsewhere in this day and age, but mm -hmm. many come back to Greenville and you know, and you've seen the games, Ryan, how uh, the fans follow the wave oh, and yeah. the support that uh, the athletic boosters provide and, and the parents uh, around here with our kids. We really are blessed with a, a, a good community and good program. And, and doing both the home and away games that I, I get the opportunity to do, it, the home side is always packed, right? But even on the away games, a lot of support for Greenville. Always has been, always has been. The Wave uh, have tremendous support at all our athletics. You know, we've mm -hmm. had a great fall program. Uh, congratulations to our our tennis teams, both men and women's, oh, yeah. and our our golf teams, men and women's, the volleyball, mm -hmm. the soccer. Yeah, it's not just football. It's no, these other it is sports not. Too. And Greenville Band of Pride has won some awards this year. So it's you know you see that it, it's just not one area. Right. It's an entire uh, community, if you will. Mm -hmm. And we've had great success this year. We're certainly proud of them. Uh, and I, I can't say enough on. Uh, when you sit up there and you take a look at where the wave stands and how we compete against much larger schools. And to your point, Greenville's always supported their fans. You go to an away game, I don't care what activity it is, 
uh, the wave are well represented. In many cases, certain schools, more waves show up, fans than uh, the opposing teams. A abs absolutely. And uh, doing sports and everything that you've done for uh, quite a few years, uh, there was always the Greenville couldn't compete in the G-Walk. Well, people were just focusing on just a couple of those sports. But if you look through everything else, Greenville was very successful in and, the G-Walk. And still are. You know, you take a look at the G-Walk, and, and again, you take a look at what the high profile of men's uh, football and then the basketball. Right. You think, wow, we really can't compete with these bigger schools. But I dare say then, let's take a look at track. Let's take a look at our tennis program. Right. Let's take a look at our girls' basketball program, the volleyball program. The other sport, swimming, even we've got bowling now. Mm -hmm. our, our kids are very competitive, and maybe not always are we in the top in our quote-unquote basketball or, or uh, football, uh, men's sports, but there's one thing I always see, we compete well. I mean, we try, the kids don't quit, mm -hmm. and that's a lot of pride. And, yes, some of the schools are bigger than us, but, sure. hey, we're 4-2 and two this year, <laughs> and uh, we're going to be 5-2 oh. and two after Friday night. So, and so, so, yes. so Bart, Bart Schmitz, uh, the new coach this year, how, you've seen a few of the games now. How do you think he's done? Oh, I think he's done an awesome job. I think if, honestly, you would ask the most common fan at the mm -hmm. if Greenville would have won maybe four games, maybe five this year, it would have been outstanding. Well, this team has an outstanding opportunity to win six, maybe seven games. Yeah. And the two teams they lost to are certain playoff teams and just ran out of gas later on in the, in the, in the later Play, period. Played them tough for at least three quarters. So uh, I think uh, Coach Mitch Bart's done a wonderful job. His staff done a wonderful job. And I, I know Alex and I, we've seen many wave, you know, right. pros and cons throughout the course of the year. And and what I enjoy this time, the, the defense uh, this year is as good as it's been since oh, Frank Horvath's era. Uh, absolutely. Where you could actually hear pads. And you've been to the games. You actually mm -hmm. hear a crack on a pad on a tackle. Yeah. Like, well, hey, that's mm -hmm. all right. Welcome back, Wave. <laughs> and, and, group, and group tackling. Yes. That. So, so the I defense mean. has really done well. And, and, and they got some really good athletes out there that you, we've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, got special skills and stuff, but right. and they're all in the game. I mean, that's what I like about it. Win, lose, or draw, they're still chilling on the sideline, and you know you have a team. And and Coach Bart Smith's done a wonderful job in his staff this year, putting together a great mm -hmm. team. Again, four and two, and then once again five and two at the end of Friday. <laughs> come out and watch the wave. Absolutely. Hey, let, let's talk about uh, your athleticism back in high school. You were part of. An undefeated Greenway team yeah, well, we were talking well, about earlier. Yes, that's right. I graduated <laughs> in 74, but I was a sophomore on uh, the year that uh, Greenville had their undefeated team. And uh, well, I was a sophomore, so I, I contributed. I was fodder for the uh, varsity. <laughs> and uh, I, I somehow I made them better somehow. But I played uh, cross country and baseball were my sports in, mm -hmm. in high school. After my sophomore year, it was, you know, I, we out running around. As a matter of fact, uh, around the track mm -hmm. football team and Alex Warner, was coach and I was doing a pretty good job running. He said, "You ought to consider coming off across country." Well, I had some friends off across country, and and we had uh, at the time I was believe it or not having as offensive guard, but we had two sophomores who were like all league and uh, mm -hmm. Charlie Good Pasture, Mike Schroyer, Tim McKibben played. They were all really good athletes, mm -hmm. and so I wanted to participate. And uh, cross country is more more my flavor, but right. still supported the wave, you know, and right. uh, all the way through. Right. So, so what kind of runner were you then? I was like a, I was varsity runner. They score the top five, and sometimes right. I was five, once in a while four, but I was, around, was in that area. And I played baseball for uh, Coach John Suba, mm -hmm. uh, a Hall of Famer, and uh, anybody's played for Coach Suba. Uh, some of the folks that were, were playing, we had like Brian Stickle. Mm -hmm. Coach Stickle was a, a good baseball player. I can name a bunch of them. I won't right. forget them. But we were very successful. Good baseball program as well during those years. Again, football and baseball and basketball, very good. So, so what did athletics do for you going from high school and then later on in life? Oh, I, I think athletics, and just not athletics, but any participation. But you're in a band, you're in a chorus, you're in a uh, – uh, French club, whatever you participate in. And Greenville's got the, the automotive uh, program, the FFA program, mm -hmm. uh, now the Navy Junior ROTC program, right. which is outstanding. So yeah, I think that develops you as an individual, broadens and widens you, works of teamwork, how to participate, even when you have to work harder if you're an underclassman. Also, how the upperclassmen handle you, help grow you, and, how, mm -hmm. and that's the leadership as a fellow or a, a lady that I want to emulate. So uh, I think you learn those things in life that when you go out into the real world, uh, there's competition out right. there. And how you deal with competition, how you deal with leadership, and how you deal with setback. You know, it's not how you fall, it's how you get back up. 
and everybody falls, everybody gets back up, and sports gives you that in that uh, scenario as well. And then being a good scholar athlete, let's not forget that we have a lot of good scholar athletes, Absolutely. and that's important as well. So being well-rounded, it just gives you a well-rounding. And again, it doesn't have to be in necessarily sports, uh, mm -hmm. although that's my that's my forte. Sure. I wasn't necessarily the brightest student in the world, uh, but there's other people who are active in other programs. I think it's so important to be. So, so what did you do after high school? What, what was your career for somebody that doesn't know you? you, you Look at you. You said you moved around a little bit. What was your career? Uh, my career uh, uh, when I I went to the Ohio State University. Uh, Got to get the the in there. Uh, oh, that's important. <laughs> uh, but uh, my uh, job I was mainly in logistics and warehouse management. Mm -hmm. As my career developed, and uh, we uh, were able to move. Uh, we asked to move to like South Bend, Indiana. We spent some time in Providence, Rhode Island, and Dover, Delaware. And we had the chance to come back to uh, Greenville for an opportunity or the area. Mm -hmm. And uh, we always kind of was our focus to get back here. We have family, mm -hmm. friends, and a great community and a great area to raise a family. And we had our opportunity to do that. We took it. And, uh, you know, our, my, uh, my kids, uh, Emily and, and, and Nick, uh, both graduated from Greenville High School and, and gone to successful mm -hmm. careers and families. Four grandchildren. I've got to mention that. I wouldn't be able to mention <laughs> that. Uh, my wife is from here, Lita. Uh, so we just love the area and love the community and uh, so we had the opportunity to bring us back here and again I'm retired now uh, again it's in logistics management right. and uh, but uh, I've always enjoyed it it's just a time to uh, mm -hmm. to catch in and now I get to spend more time with wave athletics and or the school right. system and certainly with my grandkids unless you're on vacation and then Alex has to find somebody else to well fill he's going on vacation <laughs> this week so I'm going to have he? yes he is really? well he's got well vacation he's going to see Notre Dame and USC oh, so okay, I guess gotcha. well ESPN called him and ask him to do that game. <laughs> so he couldn't turn that down. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Ty, thank you for joining us. Uh, look for the, an article in the Daily Advocate later uh, sometime about Ty. It, it should be this week sometime that we're going to have that up. Um, but uh, congratulations Thanks, on Ryan. being a homecoming parade marshal. That is quite an honor. It's right, um, yes. it, it doesn't come along to just everybody and to be chosen uh, i think is is just an incredible I do too. i'm totally honored uh, so, so we uh, don't miss out on the football games you can watch them on gpat or the the what what did you call it the, the what network do you guys well it's the, it's the imtv but it's the wave channel five uh, <laughs> go wave go wave and uh also if if you guys are tape delayed, right? But you can listen to it live on Early Bird Sports Radio. Yes, you can, <laughs> so, and, uh, and get a double dose of it. See what actually I'm calling, or this week I've got Matt Priest filling in for me, so uh, you can see what I'm calling, and then see the, the video of it later. Well, we help each other out. That, that's, right. that's right. I'm listening in, and they're calling numbers, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how that works. But uh, thank you again, Ty, for thank being you, with Ryan. us, and. Uh, Join us again next week. Don't know what the program is going to be, but I'm sure it's going to be a good one. It may be a surprise guest. I don't know. So until then, have a great week. It is estimated that more than half of all colorectal cancer cases could be prevented by receiving a colonoscopy regularly. A colonoscopy reduces deaths from colorectal cancer by 60 to 70 percent. If you have a doctor's order, call Wayne Surgeons to schedule your colonoscopy at 937-547-01. Zero seven. Again, that's 937-547-0107.